everybody and welcome. As we like to do every week, we like to take a look at the past week's market activity and then bounce around the market and look for something to do. Today we're doing it on Monday, Labor Day, because it's a holiday, the market isn't open, so we kind of wait till the very last second. So if you've been following the market, kind of a broken record, but for the most part it's been going up. It kind of went sideways over here for a while. I think we were kind of waiting for the Fed decision to see what that was all about. And on Friday, Whatever the news was about the Fed, they liked it, and obviously the market bounced a bit on the Friday. This is the S&P 500. The NASDAQ is going to look fairly similar, but hasn't recovered as much as the S&P 500, which is kind of near its highs. And the Russell has also kind of made a stronger move than the NASDAQ lately. You can see they all look fairly the same, but the NASDAQ looks the weakest, actually, out of all of them. Spies near their highs, IWM's getting there, and NASDAQ's still a little bit off. And with this bounce in the market obviously volatility has tanked so what are we going to trade well we're going to go to some stocks that haven't i mean sorry have already had their earnings so that's out of the way we don't have to worry about it this is intel and you can see on earnings it took a huge dive obviously volatility is high because of earnings but you can see volatility is still pretty high except for a couple of spots, and again, this is earnings, so this kind of volatility spike doesn't count. Same with this one. If you take those out, this is about as high as it's been for the entire year. And it's pretty near kind of the lows of where it went to. So it went down to about 19. It took a bit of a bounce on Friday to 22, so it's higher than it was, but still definitely near the lower side of its range, and volatility is high. So as a contrarian, I'm going to put on a put vertical, a short put vertical. So I go over to the trade page. You can see right here this says 46, which is perfect. It means tomorrow it's going to open up and be 45 days exactly. Our perfect number for putting on trades. That's our wheelhouse. If I open up this, how do I know which short put vertical to sell? Remember, I'm always looking for 33 to 40 cents per dollar width of strikes. So, and I always start with the put vertical. I always start with the strike below the stock price because I want it to go up from here so I start below it and it'll go up from here hopefully so the closest I can sell this is 2204 the closest one below that is 22 and if I sell the vertical you'll see it's 43 cents well 43 cents is too much for a dollar wide we're looking for 33 to 40 so how do I get a lower credit I just go further away so instead of starting at 22, I'll go to 21. I'll go a dollar further away and sell that vertical. And you can see, look at that, perfect, 33 cents. That's the minimum we're allowed to do a short put vertical for, or any short vertical, 33 to 40 cents per dollar width of strikes. So assuming everything stays here tomorrow and the stock opens up right here just above 22, we're going to look to sell the 2120 put vertical and collect at least 33 cents but no more than 40 cents if this moves around we'll move around these strikes as you've seen till we see the right credit and that's how we know we put on the trade correctly so that is our trade in intel a short put vertical for tomorrow one i am excited to let you know i've completed a book that is now available to everyone that wants to get it called learn to trade in seven days this is a book that will take you from absolute ground zero as far as knowing absolutely nothing about options all the way to trading them. Now, I'm so intent on getting this book to you because I really believe it is such a valuable resource for anybody and everybody that I'm going to offer an incredible deal on this. So stick with me on this. But before we get there, I want to show you what the book entails. The book is broken down into seven days, day one being... What is an option? You'll learn everything about options themselves. We'll compare stocks versus options. Then we'll get into basic option strategies like the vertical. And finally, we'll wrap it up with how to trade verticals and then the making and managing of trades, which is to me the key to success long term above all. Now, as I mentioned, if you get into it now, if you go to this link, you can get this book for only $9.99. And I know that may not appeal to a lot of people because a lot of people aren't into books, but I'm so intent on getting you this book because I really believe it is such a valuable resource to anybody and everybody that I'll also throw in any one of my courses right here available on Udemy right now. So for only $9.99, you not only get the book itself, but you get one free course, which can be valued for as much as $100 depending on when and where you buy these courses. Again, just go to this link here and it'll take you to this page where as you can see you'll get the book 
and one of my courses for only $9.99. So it really can't be beat. So again, just reiterate, go to this link here. You will get my book, which you can hang on to forever. And I really believe it's such a vital resource. I'm throwing in a course to really get you motivated to buy this book. That's how important I really believe this book is. The book and one of my courses for only $9.99 simply by going to this link. Please jump on this opportunity. It is something you really will be happy you did.